here we are again folks we're at the old Pulteney first time old Pulteney on the channel for at least four years I've managed to pick up the old Pulteney hood art is it any good we're about to find out be right back folks Well hello there folks and welcome back to the Whiskey Friend with me Alan, here we are again, another new week, another new video, another brand new video and in today's brand new video I'm tackling old Pulteney for the first time, it's like go back and finding an old friend after three or four years, it's been a while, the Hoddard is part of the core range, it's the no age statement version, Hoddard, the Hoddard is... It's the street that the distillery is located on, on up there in Wick. It's 46% ABV, it's non-chill filtered and it's natural colour. Just a quick one folks, it doesn't say anything about colour on the bottle. It doesn't say anything on the box, nothing about chill filtration, doesn't say any of it. All it tells is, is that it's the Huddart and it's 46% ABV. It's matured in ex-bourbon casks. A little bit interesting with this one folks. It's then transferred into new ex-bourbon casks, but they're peated ex-bourbon casks. So, Old Pulteney haven't peated this whiskey, they've just transferred it into a peated cask. So I'm really interested to see what kind of impact that finish has on this whiskey. I did mention it was non-chill filtered and natural colour. It doesn't say anywhere on there, but how do you know? I poured one earlier. In fact, I poured two earlier. I poured this one about an hour ago. I poured this one about an hour and a half ago. I've popped some cold water into this one. And my God, look what's happened. This is definitely... Is it cloudy? This is not cloudy, folks. This is... This is a full-on Scottish storm in a glass. This is... It's cloudy. It's... It's stormy weather. It's... Who wouldn't want a cloudy whiskey if it looked like that? Awesome, awesome stuff. But please, why is it not on the bottle and why is it not on the tube? If anyone knows why they don't put it there, guys, dive into the comments and let us know why it's not there. But other than that, well done, old Pulteney. So, yes, it's been the first old Pulteney for a while. Yes, I have had a couple of 12s over the last few years. I get them gifted from time to time. Birthdays, all that kind of stuff. People still buy me it and I still like it. Glad to see in the rebranding the bottle stayed the same. It kept those beautiful old pulty stills on there. Absolutely wonderful. So, without any further ado, guys, the, the distillery was founded in 1826 by Mr. James Henderson. It's been up there in that little beautiful little fishing village up there in Wick, up the northeast part of Scotland, way, way up there. Wick's probably renowned for Old Pulteney, but it's also renowned as a little bit of a fishing village. So it's a maritime malt, it's a maritime village, town, whatever you want to call it. But what's the whiskey like? So on the nose of this one, folks, it's... Up front, it's fresh, it's fruity. Little hint of spice. But there's lots of lemon, lemon citrus, maybe lime, maybe a lot of orange citrus, but it's sweet. The more I get into now, it's more lemony. It's got lemon on the nose, lemon up front, honey, vanilla. But here we go, the, with the maritime and the maltiness and the location of Old Pulteney comes in, it is very, very salty. Very salty, very maritime, very coastal. There's a little bit, there's a little note there, it's like a damp wood note. So if you can imagine you're down on, walking on the beach and a, a piece of wood comes in from the sea and you pick it up and you touch it and it's it's got that beautiful maritime note, that salty note, that damp wood note. It's, it's definitely a little bit of that there, but it's, again, that's kind of hovering around underneath. Up front, it's the fruit, it's the apples, it's the pears, it's the lemon. It's the vanilla, the honey. So let's taste it, folks. Cheers. Ah, that's quite nice. Up front, it's 
It's salty. It's spicy. Real, real spicy. That 46% AV is it's packing a punchy 46%. Spicy, it's clove. Maybe a little bit of ginger. Definitely a little bit of spiced oak in there. That spiced oak, spicy. It's got a spicy character up front. It's salty up front. And then as, as you really get into it, as it develops, the lemon citrus comes through, the lemon oil comes through. It's sweet. It's sour. Those apples on the nose have gone a little bit now, maybe maybe a sour apple, maybe like a cooking apple. The, the lemon's there, the vanilla's coming through, but it's now developed into a little bit of maybe vanilla custard. And the saltiness is, is that creamy, salty butter. It's got a salty butter note going through. It's not the most complex whiskey in the world, folks, but it's, it's certainly got enough to keep you entertained, keep you enough engaged. But let, let's have a second sip and see where we're going with a second sip. Research, of course. Thick, creamy, mouth coating, spicy. The develop comes through, the vanilla custard comes through, the sweet, the sour. It's so salty, folks. Typical salty, maritime, coastal, it's all there. That salty butter. The sour apples. Heading towards the finish, there's a little bit of lemon tea coming through. The lemons developed into that little tea note in there. It's not complex, guys, but it's, it's engaging. Let's do a little bit for the finish, then I'll score it, then I'll try and get myself gone. Cheers. On the finish of this one, it's medium. It's that salty butter is now developed into more of a salty caramel. This, the, the apple has gone from sour apple to maybe maybe some spiced apple. And that little bit of smoke that was hovering around at the beginning of the nose in the in the background, it's still there. It's hovering around right through to the end, but it's beautifully integrated. It's not imposing itself, it's just there. You know it's there. You know there's some smoke here. So yes, it's a beautiful integrated. That finish, it's just a nice, peaty, smoky finish. Very, very nice. Score-wise, what would you score this one? I'm going to score it an 86, folks, and I'll tell you why. That might sound like a low score. It's not an age statement. It doesn't say on the bottle that it's natural colour and it's non-chill filtered. But that aside, I'm going to just purely do it on the whiskey. The whiskey is wonderful. I think it's, yes, it's non age statement. I think it's youngish. It's, there's enough going on. The price is the, the downside of it. It's I picked this up for about £50. I'd like to see it round about the £40. I'd like to see it just a little bit above the 12-year-old. If I was going to go and buy this or go and buy the 12, I think I would pick up the 12 for about 25 I don't think there's much of a difference moving on from this one to take it to almost double the price. I could get two 12s for this, so that, that's where we are with that one. So, yeah, I'm going to do it as an 86, but other than that, guys, it's a wonderful whiskey. It's typical old Pulteney. I think I missed out in a couple of years, maybe we old Pulteney. I'm going to search out the 15, I'm going to search out the 18, so watch this space, they may come a bit later. 86 out of 100, the old Pulteney, the Huddard. Um, I'm Alan, I'm the Whiskey Friend. If you've liked the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you've hit the subscribe button, then thank you very much. If you've not, what you're waiting for, it's just down here. Patreon, I'd like to give a special shout out to all my Patreons. I've got a nice little bunch going at the minute. Love to thank each and every one of them. Some have been, I've got picked up a few new ones recently and I've picked up a few, I've had a few that have been there from the very beginning. So big shout to all you guys. Thank you very much. If you may consider and you think you may want to join this whiskey journey, this whiskey friend whiskey journey with me, check out the Patreon page. I'll pop some links into the description. But other than that, I'd love to have you on board. I'm Alan, I'm the Whiskey Friend, as always the pleasure is in the sharing and don't forget to send some great whiskey straight down the hatch, responsibly of course. See you next week folks, cheers.